Hi, in this short video, we are going to take a quick look at this book. It is titled Discrete Mathematics in Computer Science, and it was written by Donald Stanant and David McAllister. This is an older book on discrete math. Um, I don't know how easy it is to get, but I'll look for it and leave a link. Discrete Math and Computer Science. It's an old, old book. I'm just going to open it up, give it a whiff first here, smell it just to see. Not that much of a smell on this particular copy. And this one, I believe, is the first edition. It's from 1977. Wow. This is, this is you know, before the internet, right? So, before the internet. Mathematical models. Mathematical reasoning. So this is like proof writing type stuff here. Sets. Most discrete math courses in college today start with these same topics. So you could, in theory, use this uh, as a supplement if you were taking discrete math. You could also use it for self-study as it does contain answers to some of the questions in the back of the book. Binary relations, functions, okay, this is really important stuff. You do some proofs in this course, right? You learn to write proofs. Counting and algorithm analysis, infinite sets and algebras, and then there's an appendix, the programming language, and then answers to selected exercises, 339. Let's see, 339. And you can see, that when they say answers, they are not messing around. They don't, they don't really just mean answers. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely insane. So there's the programming language. Let's, let's skip that. It looks interesting, though. But you see answers to selected problems. So there's some here, right? But watch this when I turn the page. Look how many more there are, right? Look at all of that. I mean, that's, that's impressive. This is, this is really good for, for, for what it, I mean. Pretty, look at this. Three, five, six, eight, nine. And look, these are proofs. This is impressive. So this book definitely wins in the answer department. It doesn't have everything, but that's a huge plus. Let's, let's check out the readability. Um, looks like there was a staple there. I'm going to leave it there, though. So this is just where it's talking about logic. So it has to explain things. It, it looks very wordy. Um, that's because it's explaining you know, what all the symbols mean and what logic means. Methods of proof, this is very important. This is very, very important. And I like how the person highlighted them. <laughs> the person before before us, that was not me, but that's kind of fun. Let's go to the exercises in this section just to see what we have, because I'm curious. So, so you've got prove or disprove each of the following assertions, okay. Okay, so you can assume these properties here. So you get to assume these. I was like, I was thinking, like, wait a minute, um, that's not a, that's not you can't prove one. <laughs> that's the definition of an even number. No, uh, it's you get to assume these five things here. Okay, and then and then we have to prove these things here. Well, well, not prove or disprove. That's the hardest question. You know, I remember when I was uh, taking my logic and proof class I took in college. We had a substitute. It was this, this guy. He was really really big. Had really long hair. He was huge. And he was really fun. He was telling us that the hardest math problems, the hardest math problems in the world, were the ones where you have to, where you don't know if you have to prove or disprove. And I mean, I mean, in some sense, it's kind of annoying, right? Because you don't know if it's true or false. And so, you know, you really got to think. So you, you, you can use some concrete examples, you know, use some numbers here to check. This is fun. This is fun. Let's look in the back of the book for this. So this is chapter one, 1. 1.5. I'm really curious. Let's see how many answers we have here. So for 1.5, Let's see how many answers we have. I'm really curious to see what's going on there. So 1.5 is going to be right over here. So A, B, D, F, G, H. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's a little proofs here. That's pretty cool. So, solid book. I'm going to give it one more whiff. I just feel like it's calling me. Ah, oh, smells pretty good. So, that's a solid book. It might be really inexpensive. I don't know. I don't know. It might be like... Because a lot of times these books, I mean, no one cares about them, right? Because, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if math is that popular. I don't know. 
Mm. Cool. Yeah, well, I definitely think it's pretty cool. It has a lot of answers to a lot of the exercises. Um, so this would be good for someone who uh, is going into computer science. I mean, if you're going into computer science, definitely get as many uh, computer science related books uh, as you can. So not just this, but get other books on other, other topics. But yeah, this is a great one for discrete math. I like it. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing math. Oh, and if you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on Udemy. If you get them, use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. Take care.